Hello guys and welcome to episode 24 of my Krellia campaign in Stow Division 2, playing on the Soviet side. Today we're going to be continuing to close the net on the Finnish forces. We're very close to getting to this airfield and if the road's clear we might be able to actually encircle all of these forces uh, be below this objective which would be really really nice. We're also getting closer to the edge of the map down here. I'm also broken through on the bottom side in the southeast. Uh, we're going to be pushing up the coast now with these three units whilst maintaining a hold on to these forces. I could probably move the other fortified region units out actually. Uh, let's do that. We'll, we'll move at least one over for now. Actually let's move both of these uh, to the right hand side and I'll leave this one here. Uh, maybe we can uh, dig this one in or just at least move it over and then dig it in next turn. If that gets attacked on its own, I'll bring in some aircraft to back it up. Anyway, further up, uh, we have all of these troops kind of held in place. Going to start digging in these forces, I think, just to make sure that we can hold them there nicely. We're starting to dig in some forces around the 3rd Army Corps HQ as we continue to encircle them. Uh, a lot of these will be disorganized next turn, and we can destroy those. We're going to be continuing to move up this road. I don't think I need to attack any of these fellas, but it might be good to try and start breaking through up here just because we have so many movement points. Can I attack this unit? I'm actually out of range. Right, what I'm going to do is we're going to move up these two. I'm going to move that one into the middle. And then I'm going to move a bunch of them through this gap to the top right. Uh, this one can just come straight up the road and stay there to reinforce in phase B with the ISU-152s. Uh, then I'm probably just going to have to um, dig in. We'll dig in on the crossroads. I'll move this one up and we'll dig in with that one. I'll move that one in and dig in there. I can move one here and dig in there. And then we'll move start moving one round as well. Okay, cool. The idea being just to hold these guys in the pocket. Move that up as far as I can. We'll get the AA all the way up here as well. And I'll probably set them into AA stance next turn. Uh, one thing I'm, I am going to want to do here is definitely push through either the 1st Battalion of the Infantry Regiment 50 or the 2nd Battalion of the Infantry Regiment 30. I think I'm probably going to hit the 1st Battalion of the Infantry Regiment 50. Uh, because that will probably push this unit down and then we can move up the road. I'm also going to have to probably hit the 3rd Battalion of the Infantry Regiment 61, which is going to be quite a difficult attack. Although saying that, I might not need to. It looks like I can just drive around them, which uh, is probably an option. Yeah, then I don't have to worry about them. Uh, that works. Uh, we'll just do that. There we go. Sorted. <laughs> no need to fight. If we don't have to. I'm probably going to just move these up for the time being. I might have one kind of move up and just take away some of this land there. And we'll do the same here. We'll kind of have one move up like so. Because they can likely just move up and connect themselves to this area again. We don't want to get too close to the objective here. But... I think what I'm going to have to start doing is setting up defenses to stop them from getting towards this flag because they're constantly following all of my forces. And at some point they will be disorganized, but for now, yeah, we're just going to try and keep ahead of them and I'm going to have to kind of create a a net to hold them in. Now on this road we do have the 108th Rifle Corps. I'm tempted to have them just zoom all the way down the road here, see if we can get to the edge of the map. I'm not sure if that will cut off this left side, but we'll give it a go. Zoom off in that direction. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to move this unit onto the road and we're going to dig them in. I might also have this one come down and uh, dig in there as well. Uh, this one's going to come round and encircle. Uh, this one might need to dig in 
just because the Jaeger Battalion might try and get back over here. I don't necessarily want to leave that in range. Hmm. I'm going to move up the AA. And we'll, I think maybe I'll just leave them like that. Because if the Jaeger Battalion does attack the 90th Rifle Division HQ, it might be better to just have them as they are there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, what am I doing with all of these? Um, this artillery uh, might as well come over here because they've moved on to the road with the 10th Division. That's kind of blocked our movement a little bit. I can likely destroy the 3rd Battalion of the 3rd Brigade. Uh, we'll probably do that. Nothing can reinforce them, so we'll just auto-resolve it. There we go. Push those out of the way. Move up. Uh, we can probably just blitz through this artillery but uh, again I'm not sure I need to so we will just move these over I'm going to move the 21st army reserve up uh, all of these are going to have to continue we can of course jump on this objective and complete the campaign but that is not the plan just yet as I do want to try and encircle as many forces as possible but I'm hoping by getting to the edge of the map here uh, that will encircle these guys, therefore I don't have to push through the bottom. If we do have to push through here, then that's going to give us something to do at least. Uh, but let's just... Actually, I might, I might as well keep these Andrushas down here because they're going to be kind of useful. Uh, actually, let's move them round. We'll move them around the back and they can reinforce the dug-in units on the far side. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, so what I'm going to do with these, uh, I might just move them up to there for now. Just to kind of uh, block that exit for the 3rd Battalion of the Infantry Regiment 58. Uh, this one can also start moving over that direction as well. Um, these two can uh, move like so. Might have this one move up like that. Okay. It's kind of getting a bit confusing with all of them so <laughs> like dispersed <laughs> amongst my own forces. Like For example here, probably just need to move this unit round. I don't want to leave any sort of next to other forces necessarily. But I am going to need units that can almost sweep through and, and destroy them. So let's bring in some more reinforcements. Probably going to be 21st Army reinforcements. And it will likely just be like a rifle unit. I don't think we need anything crazy unless I bring in the bombers. Actually, let's uh, maybe bring in some bombers. Uh, there was a reason I wanted bombers before, and I can't remember why. I think it was just to uh, use the bombing action. I'm not sure if we can use the bombing action if we have them, but we'll try that out. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So we can do the bombard action with those, which might help us if we decide to make an attack somewhere. Well, here, for example, might be a nice place to use the bombard action to avoid uh, more of these uh, infantry units from getting involved. Uh, but I can't do that, speaking of which, because of the AA net being in the way. Okay, uh, let's just continue to uh, make these movements. Uh, this AA can certainly start moving up a bit more. Now, all of these are staying where they are. Uh, this one will just move back a little bit so it doesn't get targeted. Even though the 3rd Battalion of the Light Artillery Regiment 19 probably won't be doing too much anyway. Uh, all of these can start zooming up the road. Become help. Okay, awesome. Get them off the island. Great. We're leaving all of those. Just double checking, triple checking. There's still loads of movement here to do, honestly. I might dig in that unit at where it is, just in case they can squeeze through here. And this AA might as well deploy, honestly. It's not really going to move that much further. But we'll keep squeezing up these forces. Uh, the 952nd Rifle Regiment might as well just move all the way up there. And same with this one. We'll get them on the road. 165th anti tank regiment can move up. And the artillery can move over here as well. Okay. 
I think that is a majority of movement done. We just need to make this attack and then move on with a lot of these forces. I mean, most of them we're going to be putting into uh, fortifications anyway. So let's start by doing that. We're going to dig in here, move these across one, move that up because that won't be able to hold otherwise. This one can squeeze in there. One of these might get attacked. It, I think it might be worth me destroying the light AA battalion here. Uh, if we, I think if we use a bombard action on it, it won't actually help it. The best way for me to do this attack would be to bombard the second battalion of the infantry regiment 48. Yeah, and then attack the light AA battalion. I think I'm going to do that. We'll bombard these guys. Take away their action points. And then we're going to make this attack. Like I said, they can reinforce in phase B. I'm going to bring in some artillery just in case. I'll bring in the second guards mortar brigade as well. Just so that we have like 60 points in phase A. Let's tactical battle. And jump on in. This way also if we reach phase B and we haven't won yet, which we should have, uh, then we still have the units to help win the game. Okay. Let's have a look. So I'm probably just going to want to be charging them down for the most part, but they do have the Vicottins and those are going to be pretty rough to deal with. So in some ways I'm kind of tempted to do like the old fashioned march forwards with snipers and stuff in intermingled with my units. We kind of just do like a big old wall. Everybody loves a good Russian charge. Let's just do a Russian charge. Might cause some men to get killed, but yeah, that's what it's all about. <laughs> uh, let's grab the snipers, throw them in there. And is that it? I'm sure there's more. There we go. Yeah, I need the snipers so that I can spot them in advance. And then, uh, might be worth bringing in like SG-42s to go with us. I don't know if they're going to be fast enough to keep up, but we'll give that a go. Spread out some Gavardia as well. Okay, lovely. Launch the battle. Like these, move them up. Like these, move them up. Just going to spread them out as much as possible. Okay, there we go. We're off. Now, for the most part, they'll probably move through cover. But that's okay. Yeah, these trucks are going to be rough to deal with, actually. I'm probably going to bring in... I think I have some AT, don't I? We can bring in like an AT gun. If we speed things up, this shouldn't take too long. At closer ranges, we can definitely annihilate them. Ooh, okay. That's a couple of units on the right there that I want to kill. Uh, we'll bring in a couple of these up here. And we'll make sure they unload when they get into position. And I'm going to bring in a couple mortars on the right-hand side here. And we're just going to start mortaring those. Okay. Need to do the same on the left. Get that mortifier down. I don't really have anything to counter battery us, so I don't have to worry about unloading them early. Okay, the sniper's having a go, that's good. Probably best to turn off the APCR. Oh, there's another Vekotin up there. Alright. Oh, we lost one of our 45, so it looks like it got killed by the... Uh, both is... That sucks. Ooh, 
that snipe is very dead. Yeah, this is the trouble with this AA, is it can be pretty lethal. Thankfully, we actually have a decent amount of mortars to use to help us through. I'm not sure if we've uh, killed those, but we'll bring in some supply anyway. Keep that going. Same deal here on the ridge. Got to keep hitting that. Okay, well, we've discovered it again. Uh, let's make sure we're hitting that as it falls back. Bring in another supply truck. Cool. Right here, we're actually close enough to just engage it with machine guns, so that's fine. Oh, we barely done any damage on that right hand side. Cool. Yeah, when we get close range with the infantry, we've got more than enough going for us. But uh, at range, when they're like individual units, they just get melted. We lost an AT gun, we lost a sniper, I think, so far. Not too much else, which is good. I'm going to try and pin that down ASAP. Now we're shooting at it and it's already pinned down. That's really good. Oh, there's a unit in the trees there. Let's uh, get down. Oh no, it's a forgotten. <laughs> uh, the AI hiding them in all sorts of places. I think I'm going to continue to hit that because I think there's going to be the forgotten there still. I could bring in like bigger stuff. I guess I could use Andrushas actually. Why didn't I use Andrushas? They would have been way more effective. Maybe a bit overkill though, honestly. Like I can Andrusha that. They'll be dead. I don't know if I killed whatever was on this hill, but we can run up that way anyway. Oh, that's a... Uh, Something to kill. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's fall back here. These snipers aren't really lasting too long. Yeah, the 120mm mortars really haven't done too well for us. And Rusha certainly did the job there. Okay, there's a Vakotin. Did manage to kill one of our units of infantry, but we shut it down. It's good. Right, let's carry on. Just need another rocket to land on target there. I think that might have killed it. Maybe. Keep these moving. Yeah, the SGs are being left behind. That's it. More or less job done. I like how it makes like the bubbles. <laughs> With that leader unit. Almost captured every single flag. Simple as that. Just got to make sure that I have that mortifier and then we're good. Nice. That was relatively simple. Did lose quite a few units though. Uh, nine losses. <laughs> it's a poor day to be a sniper. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, apparently none of those snipers actually died. Okay. Well, that removes AA. Uh, reason I did that was mainly so that I can reinforce any of these units that might potentially get attacked by these forces trying to break north. That's, yeah, that's the main reason I did that. We'll leave this one here just to reinforce in phase A, but yeah, time to try and push through here, I think. So I'm going to attack the 1st Battalion of the Infantry Regiment 50. I could potentially 
bomb like one of these, but I don't think I really need to. We can just roll through them with the units we've got. We'll take the third mobile group. We'll take the 49th Armored Car Battalion. And we'll take the 129th Guard Rifle Regiment. They might use some aircraft. I reckon we'll just end up against a lot of infantry. Now, they do have the Lattes, of course, and they have an AT gun per regiment or per battalion. So we, we're going to have a maximum of three, maybe a few more because of the difficulty. I don't think that'll be terribly bad for our division here, the third mobile group, because of just the sheer amount of tanks that we have. Right, let's jump on in. And it looks like they were left on their own. Yep. Okay, so potentially we've overcommitted to this. I'm going to start with a couple of dosos. We're going to unload one of these early, well, both of them early, and I'm going to uh, then tell them to move up afterwards. I'll definitely bring in some ISUs. I'm going to bring in two at least for the hill, one for the right. Actually, let's just do two for the right as well, because I'll need one that can go up onto this hill and one that can push towards the town, whilst these two remain on the hill. I have two that can spread out. One can go up towards the town, one can go towards the center. And for now, I'll probably just keep one on the left. I'm probably not going to push too hard on the left initially. Grab a couple of Sapuri, throw them up onto there. Definitely need some longer range troops, potentially. Hmm. I think I might just like throw all of these separately to the right. Just make sure we control this right hand side and then that will control all of these flags more or less. Left sides are going to be harder though. I want to use Avtos, but I'm a little unsure whether or not that's a good idea. What I'm going to do, we're bringing some Motorotetka and I'm going to unload them all. And then I'm going to have all of these team up here and we're going to bring in some Avtos that can then push through the heavy cover through any of these. And we'll see how that goes. All right, let's launch the battle. I'm hoping this does all kind of just reveals any infantry that's here without dying, and then we can just smash it with the ISUs. We are going to need some infantry to accompany these ISU 152s, but I will have the um, uh, the Motors Vidka to accompany these ISU 152s, so that might be okay. But yeah, this BA 64B needs to start heading up. I'm going to unload these so early, just so they don't get transport sniped. And have them run straight across. Okay, the idea with this Mazarov's Vitka was to move right to the edge there, put them on return fire, and we'll just push this one through here, actually. This one's coming over. This one can start moving up. Again, we'll put them on return fire. Don't want any of these to reveal themselves, because that's how they get killed very quickly. Uh, some normal Resvitka might be handy. Could also use some SU-76Ms, but I may as well be using ISUs, honestly. And SU-152s. Taking this right hill, like this area specifically, will allow me to squeeze an ISU all the way up on top of here, which gives us a really nice line of sight. That's kind of the plan. I am going to need probably some Avtos or something that can rush up into here so we'll do that. They'll be supported quite well so that's fine. These guys can all start running up. Gonna move up the M301 Resurticas in front. 
Nothing's firing at them, so that's so far so good. They don't actually have as many points as I do, I don't think, because there's only one unit attacking us, or, well, defending against us. Oh, gotta be careful. Nice. We've actually just stormed that hill completely. That's really nice. That worked perfectly. And now what I can do is get my ISU 152 up onto this hill. We're going to do that. I'm going to bring in a couple of SU 152s here. A couple of Manavto to push through. <laughs> Goodbye, machine gun. We already captured this left side, that's fantastic. Okay. So we'll move a couple of these M3A1 Resvitkas to the edge over here just to kind of scout for us. Uh, this one shouldn't be going to the left with the Abtos. Oh, those are pioneery. Uh, those could actually do quite a lot of damage to the Abtos. Oh, it's a tanky Toyunta. No. Oh, the shooter knockout. At least it's still reloading. I need it to fire now. And the unit right in front. There we go. Whew. Damn, that could have been nasty. Might have lost an ISU there. <laughs> Blimey. Alright, let's bring in another Avto. Uh, this Armored Car Battalion doesn't have any infantry I could use. Not really. Yeah, I think we've used up most of our infantry for now. Start moving this up on top of the hill there. Uh, these can unload further up. I have the BA 64B move ahead. I'm a little worried about more tank and Toyunta. Uh, let's move the ISUs and stuff out into the open. This can start moving through there. We'll have the ISU 152 move up. I'm going to bring in a few T 70 Resvitkas. Oh, that's the AT gun. Get the BA 64B into cover. That's the only AT gun they have. Don't really mind losing the recon vehicle just because it doesn't really count towards a loss, per se. Definitely something here I need to take care of. That Avto is in bad trouble. Now let's move an SU-152, uh, or both of these maybe, onto the road. I'm going to have one of these come back as well. There's actually not much point in those being up there. Oh shit. Oh no. Givari. I'm running down my ISU. Blow them up. <laughs> my full SU 152. Oh, that's savage. Alright. Uh, we're going to have to stop with those, but that's going to be the sniper dead. Uh, that should probably fall back, just because the Pioneer are going to throw the grenade at them. Yeah, they did. Okay. Yeah, we did lose one tank there, unfortunately. That was a bit silly on my part. We'll start moving up some Avtos across the open. They can reveal stuff for us to shoot at. <laughs> Both SU-152s are firing at them. Damn, they are tanking that nicely. <laughs> Two-star veterancy making them take barely any damage. 
Oh, the Avtes. Oh, they're really in bad shape, but I think they're going to survive. Oh, damn. They were saved by the bell there. Blimey. Okay, this is... Um... <laughs> I mean, not, not my best battle in the world. Not, not my most, you know, decisive battle, but it, it's working. We're getting somewhere. We haven't lost, actually, that much stuff. It just feels very messy. Oh, is that the whole lot gone? Oh, nice. I, mean, I think there's still a unit here. Guess we'll find out. Have the Avtos pushed across the open for now. Yeah, there's still a unit there. This is why I brought in the T-70 Redwood, because so they could spot stuff for us. We'll keep that Avto back, he can go run home. Move up the door stores. I think this Avto should probably do a runner, if it can. Okay, cool. 17 to 7, not too bad. Uh, might be worth bringing up a couple more SU-152s to the left, just to hold that for the time being. Uh, and it looks like I can probably move these out into the open now, so we'll do that. Let's go capture the center of this map. I'm going to bring in some more Dosor. Just so I have those BA-64Bs to use. I'll move these Avtos back. Start moving that one across, I guess, and that one up. See what we can find with all these recon tanks. And that is the plan after all. Let's just move up this ISU 152 so we can get shot onto that machine gun. We spotted ourselves a mortar. And we're into phase B. Which means... Gavardia time! There we go. <laughs> Get all the Gavardia in here. And just finish the job. So our main issue at the moment is just like having a severe lack of infantry. But it looks like the recon's kind of spotting this infantry, forcing it to move, and then we're just smashing it with the ISUs there, so that works. Oh, the Zavto's absolutely melted that unit. Cool. Not bad. Uh, so apparently can fall back. We'll move this one to the edge. And I'm going to be bringing in some armor cars. Let's just do that. Great. We have so much recon on the field. Damn. I can definitely just melt this Kivari. Uh, they did kind of get the jump on me because their submachine guns have better range. Maybe the BA-64B can help a little bit. Mm, I think the Avtos might die. Uh, that would suck. Okay, never mind. We got it. We got it. Let's have those avatars stop. They need to fall back. Good. Yeah, these Givardia squads can continue forwards. Uh, 
I'm a little bit concerned about my avatars there. They might end up getting killed. We're 23 to 1. Oh, the Kivari managed to get on top of one of my poor BA64Bs there. Oh, <laughs> that truck went boom. Like it. Uh, that's victory. There we go. Great stuff. 12 minutes, 41 seconds. Five losses. Just that SG-152 is the only thing that really matters. Okay, cool. That should probably just obliterate that unit. Yep, they're gone. Push that one down. Yep, perfect. And now what we can do is just move this one around like so, just to cut that off. Um, might want to just move this one in here for the time being, just so that they can't squeeze through there. Okay, nice. Let's trap those three units. We're getting very close to these units. And that is everything done for this turn, I believe. Looks like it. Oh, I've just got to move up the rest of these forces, don't I? Um, actually, I'm leaving that one where it is. It's only this one that actually needs to move. Move that one all the way up there. Okay, there is another unit up there, the Pioneer Battalion 28. I'm just hoping there's not much more on this flag. Next turn, we'll probably bring in some more of the 21st Army here so that I can use it to sweep through and clear out any of their forces. Okay, let's leave it at that. Move on to the next one. Now I'm really trying to get out. But I'm not going to let them. See if we get attacked though. I feel like these fellas are definitely going to start getting a bit rowdy soon. Oh, that one's very close to the edge there. <laughs> Almost managed to sneak out. And the 461st Rifle Regiment is under attack. Okay, well, unfortunately, guys, since it's probably going to be quite a long battle, I'm probably going to leave it here. Uh, we'll pick it up again in the next episode uh, where we'll start with this defense and then uh, we'll probably be looking towards the end of the campaign because this unit will hit the edge of the map and this unit will destroy all of their aircraft this one will probably go through and capture the flag up here maybe and we're also going to have this one getting very close to the edge of the map as well so yeah i think honestly we're getting closer and closer to the end uh, but next time around we'll play this out hopefully you've enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye